What's up guys, Agent here again with another theory crafting video and today I'm just going to talk about monster helms and I guess just general uh, set uh, pieces and whether or not spell damage and max magicka and other sort of uh, buffs actually impact these sets in terms of the damage they're able to output. Uh, so for those of you guys who aren't aware, there are monster helms as well as other um, armor sets that have a damage component to them. Uh, the monster helms are the most obvious ones because they're the, probably the ones you're going to use the most often and see the most often in endgame content. And you can see here with Lambrus, uh, the two-piece effect when you deal flame or shock damage, you have a 10% chance to summon a meteor shower of that damage type that deals 1532 damage to all enemies within 4 meters every 1 second for 5 seconds. This each effect can occur once every 8 seconds. Uh, now, there has been some discussion, uh, not that much, uh, discussing whether or not these, the uh, that damage, that 1532 damage, is actually affected by things like Netch's Touch or... Um, or by something like Julianus, which adds on extra spell damage for the five piece. Um, so that's kind of what we're going to be exploring today. Uh, kind of whether or not spell damage from these various sets actually impacts proc sets like Monster Helms, um, and whether or not uh, that can happen. So, for those of you guys who aren't already aware of this, Monster Helms were nerfed uh, several times actually in the history of ESO. The first nerf, big nerf that they got, was that um, you could, they can no longer crit. Monster Helms used to be able to crit, um, and then they nerfed that so Monster Helms can't crit anymore. Um, and the second nerf happened uh, in, I believe it was Horns of the Reach patch, uh, where they kind of nerfed uh, some of the Monster Helms, the more popular ones, such as Lambrus and Grothar, and then they buffed a couple of other uh, Helms, uh, such as uh, things like uh, Spawn of Mephala, for instance, I think was uh, was buffed as was Narayanid, and I think Scoria w was, might have been buffed as well. Um, so that all happened during Horns of the Reach. Uh, so this used to be hit for quite a bit more, but now it's, uh, I believe it was nerfed by 10% uh, with Horns of the Reach. Uh, so a very easy way that we're going to basically see whether or not um, this damage is affected by Julianos is by just taking off a piece of our Julianos. So you can see here that the damage didn't actually change at all, even though we took off our one piece of Julianos. Uh, now real quick, we're going to verify this. Just going to get some of the procs to happen. Again, take a look at comment metrics as well. That should be enough. So we'll just wait for uh, for us to get out of combat and take a look at the Lambrus uh, procs on combat metrics. Uh, do the exact same thing again, except this time we will take off our Julianos, um, so that way we lose the 299 extra spell damage. So we'll just take off uh, let's take off a small piece, take off our sash. So we already know that on the tooltip it's not going to decrease at all. So the question is, is it going to change uh, when we take a look at, uh, for example, our um, our comet metrics parse? And just do the same thing again, just run my magicka completely dry. getting many fire damage procs. Oh, I got one. Alright, we'll get out of combat and take a look at our uh, combat metrics and just kind of show, show you guys that uh, the spell damage and things like that doesn't actually boost Lambrus at all. So this was the first one with four piece Julianos. Uh, so we were missing the 299 extra spell damage. And we can see here Lambrus hit for 1488. 
and 1481. Uh, they are a little bit higher uh, maxes here, and that's probably due to minor vulnerability. This is the second one. Same thing here, 1489, 1432. Again, those, max, those higher maxes probably come from the minor vulnerability uptime that we were getting. Uh, some variation there between parses. So we can see here that uh, even with out uh, that five piece Julianus effect, Lambrus is still hitting for the pretty much the exact same damage. Uh, the only thing that's really going to be affecting it are going to be uh, debuffs like minor minor vulnerability uh, slash concussed and increasing your penetration. That'll obviously increase your damage as well, um, as well as minor berserk and things like that. But other than that, you know, minor sorcery, spell damage, Netch's touch. Uh, Silks of the Sun, that's not going to impact any of the proc sets, so Grothar won't be affected by Silks of the Sun. Neither Lambrus procs will be affected by Netch or Silks of the Sun or Julianos. Julianos isn't going to affect any of these proc sets at all. Uh, the only thing that's going to be affecting the damage that each proc set does is going to be uh, the quality of the items, so if you have um, Two, go two legendary items versus two epic items. Uh, the legendary proc is going to hit for harder. And then you have things like enemy debuffs like uh, minor vulnerability uh, and your own buffs that increase just flat damage done, such as minor berserk. Uh, so minor sorcery, things like that, that increase spell damage, won't increase anything like that. Uh, Max Magica isn't going to increase the... Uh, the proc damage either, it's only basically things that are increase the damage you deal or the increase the damage the enemy receives. Those are the only things that are going to, those are the only buffs and debuffs that are going to affect uh, proc damage. Um, so things like Netch's Touch, Silks of the Sun, spell damage, don't even bother thinking about uh, whether or not that's going to affect your proc. So th if you want to get the most out of your Lambrus, uh, basically you're going to want to shoot for very high minor vulnerability uptime, a uh, high minor berserk uptime, and uh, make sure you that your proc sets are all, all legendary in terms of quality. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys found it informative, and I will see you guys in the next dungeon.